We're back with Living the Run. Here are your hosts, Ryan Ferran and Paul Tarek. And we are back. We have figured out our Malahi Ford text trivia question for tonight. What year is this for the City to the Sea Half Marathon? What year is it? I'll get that one. It's 2011. You stupid. <laughs> Antonio, <Yeah>. unleash! <laughs> Release the Antonio! Just like in Rocky IV. Now, Antonio, now! <laughs> what year is it? What anniversary is the City to the Sea celebrating? First in will win a free entry if you have not won anything from us in the past six months. 805-242-1280. $75 value. 805-242-1280. City to the Sea race this Sunday. Check out citytothesea.org for more information. Just messing around on our Facebook page right now. Don't mind me. Um, talking to Antonio Benuelas, UFC, WEC, and Dream Fighter has a fight coming up on New Year's Eve after winning his fight a couple weeks ago. So cutting weight. Uh, wrestlers do it in college, high school, but it seems a lot of guys, MMA, cutting weight. Why is everyone uh, cutting weight? What's the philosophy behind it? And uh, what is the process to doing that? Um, well, for college, it's different now. For wrestling, because um, they have all these rules and stuff like that. You have to check your weight before. And your body fat has to be a certain. Oh, really? Everything, yeah, for college wrestling. So you can't do it like in the old days where you would just say, hey, I'm going to go 125s and then... You know, just cut a bunch of weight and make 125s. They actually have a hydration test and everything like oh, that. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, I did not know that. Yeah. They make you, they ch- you check at the beginning of the year, then they have, uh, like, what you weigh by, and it's a whole chart. I don't know. It, they started right when I was finishing mm-hmm. up, so I don't know too much about it. But as far as um, MMA for fighting, um, it's just, you know, you want to be at, you want to get to the lowest, the, uh, your peak performance. And... Pretty much everyone just, it's, you ring out your, your water weight. Like, um, right now I, I fight at 135s, but right now I'm, when I'm in shape, I'm anywhere between 45 and 55. So, and I, right now I'm a, I'm a small 135 pounder. So there's guys that are actually bigger that are coming down. So you know. you're 135, you fight at 135, uh, right? Yeah. When, you're, when you actually step into the ring, how long after you weigh do you we weigh, get in the uh, ring? Uh, we weigh in the day before, so you got about 24 hours. So then I come back up to my natural weight, so I'll, I'll probably be around 145, 150. Wow. So how do you Incredible. cut 10 to 15 pounds? Well, okay, here's the thing. When you cut weight, you have to be in, like, if you do it right, it won't, it won't hurt you at all, you know, because if you're in shape, all you do is ring your water weight out really fast, you know, you bring your, you know. <laughs> that sounds way easier than done. Just yeah. ring your water weight out well, 15 yeah, pounds just, later? Yeah. Well, so I mean, how do you, you do got, that? You got to bring it down. I mean, I'm not going to cut from, from uh 45, you know, the, the week of, I'll, oh, okay. I'll, shrink, I'll shrink my meals down, you know, and get my, start getting my weight down. And, um, you know, the day of, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe be like five pounds, five or six pounds overweight. Some guys like to get a little bit lower than that, you know, and have a meal. And, and then just, you know, bring that water weight out, you know, three pounds, two pounds. But uh, it's simply you just bring your weight down through, throughout the week. So, like, I'll start off Monday. You know, we'll weigh in, weigh-ins are on Friday, so I'll start off Monday at... 47 and just you know smaller meals you know watch my water or keep my water intake at the same smaller meals and i'm still training at the level i normally do and then you just bring it down bring it down shrink it down and you know cut it that way so in that last day when you're trying to lose five or six pounds uh, the last day i like to lose five or six pounds because i've already slowed all my workouts down and i don't like to take any days off too much and so uh, you're nervous anyway and you got all this energy and and I like to go get a workout in. For me, it's 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 like I put the plastics on, you know, and I just it's not like I'm working out. I get I get my iPod on, um, I, I just get on a treadmill, and I I don't even run. It's like at a two or three. Really? I just break a sweat. I get a I get to like a four speed, and then once I break a sweat, I bring it down to like a two or three speed, and I'm just kind of skipping and walking. <laughs> Chuck used to put his stuff on and wander around the hotel like. <laughs> skipping and dancing i mean it was the most absurd thing i've ever seen like he had like fun like dancing um and for me i just like slow walk and then slow bike and get down and then maybe if i have if i have like a pound and a half left hop in the sauna and you know and just and just move it out that so, way and you get one chance right well you get well you get on the scale and if you don't make it they give you an hour 
You know, they give you an hour to lose so, that weight. So how stressful is that mentally? I mean, because that's a big the, thing right the, before yeah, the race. The, the, the bigger the guys, you know, like I got a couple a couple buddies that are that are going 45s, and you know, we have to work. We got, you know, I'm in there in the sauna with them, like making sure you know you guys got five more minutes, you know, and it, it gets pretty tough some t- for the bigger guys. Um, and like you guys were saying, if they open up 25s, Chuck and John want me to go 25s. They're gonna have to lock me in the sauna for that one, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty tough. But that's looking ahead. But some, you know, some of the guys, it gets, it's, it's mentally breaking and tough. You know, that's why you have, like, when you cut weight, you have, you'll see guys go out with like three or four of their teammates. You never cut weight alone because after a while, you know, you start losing that water weight and you start getting a little bit insane and you don't want to do it. And then I don't. Uh, you know, it, it, it'll mentally break you if you don't do it right. Have guys planned on cutting weight, not done it, and missed their fight? Um, it, it just depends. Like, the UFC the UFC docks their pay um, and then gives the I think gives them a choice if they want to fight or not. Or like gives the other fighter, the other fighter oh, okay. a, a choice or not. Um, there's been a few. I'm not going to say anything, but I've seen a <laughs> couple of guys that have, like, come in and it – and they're like six over, and it's like they don't even really, you know. And they 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 don't and they come back in again for the second win, and they're still six over. So it's like it looks like they didn't co wait. I'm not I'm not yeah. saying any names or saying anything. If you if you follow the UFC, you probably know. But yeah, I mean, just some guys just say f it and whatever, you know. But let's keep it all in the family. The first person to go against FCC standards was uh, your trainer John Hackleman. He went uh, against the family. Yeah, family foundation of our show. But we weren't, oh. but we weren't saying anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. no. And of course, we. Hey, well, of course, actually, yeah, John and, on your yeah, I know. I was like, like, he's like, is that okay? We're like, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Did you try to have a normal conversation <laughs> with him? Yeah. Jeez. I'll pay the fine. Don't worry about yeah. it. Um, so getting back to our original debate, which a lot of guys have, and it's 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 a stupid debate. Uh, could a guy? Especially an in shape guy. So, so take Paul back a few years ago. He's Let's rewind a couple years. Maybe four. <laughs> Olympic. Yeah, four. Four years. Four and a half years. We'll Olympic rewind. decathlete, less than 5% body fat, 6'2, 210, 220. Uh, maybe like 212, man. 220. That's a little high there, buddy. Well, whatever. Does, does he, with no fighting background, even though he's bigger, stronger than you, stand a chance at all? <sighs> You can, he, you can, you can I mean, be honest. honest. He's be an honest. athlete. I mean, if we, if if we went into his world and I did what he was going to do, then yeah. But a wrestling match and you know, uh, uh, I'm mean, in a street fight. Anybody's got a chance because it's a street fight. But as far as fighting wise, I know what I'm doing. So then, no. Let's put it this way: yeah, what, no. what advantage? Would he have any well, advantage an over you? So yeah, the, the more the better the athlete. The obviously, he's going to know to adapt and overcome. Now one twenty five, you know, not one thirty five. Huge difference, though. Huge uh, difference. Uh, you know, there's a couple guys at Poly. I, I've been training with the one twenty five right at Poly right now, and I'll take him uh, any day of the week over anybody else that's never fought. Really? Yeah, because he. I mean, he can take me down and hold hold me down, and he's never he's never done fighting a day in his life, except for just helping me train for tra- train for a fight. So I mean, if he can take me down and hold me down. You can take anybody else down and hold them down. He made he made a he made a very valid point earlier though. What, just with the skill and the quickness that he's going to have in terms of getting me in a move and then getting out and knowing, uh, you know, if he shoots to you know to take me down, he's going to shoot and if it's not working, he's going to back right off and come right back again. So it's huh? you know I'm not knowing what to look for and I'm not. He's going to have you have a rear no, naked choke think, before you know what the I heck. I think that's hit what's going to happen. Somebody's <laughs> going to ding a bell and there's going to be like a dude on my shoulders getting my head wrapped up and then I get tunnel vision and then I'm laying on the mat. And then somebody wakes me up, and I go, wait a second, wait a second, let's get this thing started. That's what happened when I first started training. That's how I learned. Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. We, we just had the fight, actually. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to be in the corner going, Paul, wake up. That was I'm awesome. I'm be sitting here having this debate, and then I'm going to come to and be like, hey, let's get this thing started. And you're like, he choked you out 20 minutes ago. Show's over. Oh, man. So that debate, Paul, are you happy it's I'm, settled? I mean, do you have any... Grand illusion still. I know you have such a I think huge it, I, ego that you're probably no, 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 still holding ego. on I think to it this. Would be, I think it would be fun to to try that. I think I think it would be fun to try. We could, it. We could do it. And yeah. YouTube it. And he, I, I don't think do we should YouTube Camera it. Camera right, right there. I don't think we should YouTube it. Page. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, let's work something out. <laughs> wow. Are you willing to do this right now? Not right now. No. no. Beat up. This guy's gonna beat me. No. No. We're gonna start low. You would be willing to do it. Yeah. 
Antonio yeah. or a lighter guy? Oh, lighter. I told 125. I, oh, 125. Okay. Because he's going to show can, up. He's going to show up at 150, and I already said 150. And a guy that knows what he's doing is going to hammer me. I'm going to like your fetal position. I'm going to I'm going to adapt <laughs> I'm sure we your fetal position that with technique. The poly team. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sure there's another 125er around, right? Oh, yeah. I get uh, Ian McCall. Yeah, he'll do it. Why I, about I don't know Ian. Right now. I, uh, money on Ian. Yeah, you'd look at him and you'd laugh. Cause you'd, uh, oh, no, I wouldn't little, laugh. No, little, no. Little, see, little, see, you'd is, laugh if you saw him. The thing is, I may look dumb, but here's what I do know. Because you are dumb. This is true. <laughs> That's but why you look this dumb. This is what I do know. You guys practice fighting for a living. What, yeah. what do you do for You fight. You you. you uh. do. What did I do for? I ran away. I practiced That's what I'm saying, running. So, like if we practice, if we went out into your world running away. and tried to run, you would you would dominate us. We at would that. make a great team because if we got into a fight, I would run away yeah. and get help, and you could hold them <laughs> off while I did that. Antonio doesn't need help. We are talking to MMA fighter Antonio Benuelos. We will continue the conversation right after this. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. Ryan Ferran here. Listen, mortgage rates are still at all-time lows, but are climbing. Before they go up higher, make sure to call my friend Chris Orsini to refinance your home. Chris's reputation for honesty and integrity are unquestioned, and there is nobody in the mortgage business that I would trust more to handle my finances. Whether you need to purchase money or refinance loan, call Chris at 440-4288 or email him at Chris at chrisorsini.com that's o-r-s-i-n-i reference living the run and chris will pay for your home appraisal at the close of escrow running warehouse is the fastest growing running store in the nation for all major brands of running products including asics brooks nike saucony mizuno new balance and adidas Running Warehouse is focused on providing runners the best shopping experience available online, on the phone, or in our store. Running Warehouse offers top-notch customer service, an outstanding selection, an easy-to-use website, low everyday prices, plus free shipping and returns on deliveries made within the 48 contiguous states. Find out for yourself why Running Warehouse is the fastest-growing running store in the nation. Visit us online or stop by our retail store in San Luis Obispo on Suburban Road near Trader Joe's. Smart runners save cash at runningwarehouse.com. Artie's Pilates Studio in Pismo Beach is a Pilates-only studio that uses the full line of Pilates apparatus. Whether you're rehabbing an injury, want to strengthen your core, relieve back pain, or just increase your energy and overall fitness, Artie's Pilates Studio has it all, including a full staff of trainers who are nationally certified. They offer private and semi-private lessons, plus group classes on the Pilates Reformer. Artie is even certified as a Pilates golf conditioning specialist. Artie's Pilates Studio in Pismo Beach. Call 773-3863. A preventable epidemic in the U.S. is killing our family, friends, neighbors, and children. Over two-thirds of American adults and 34% of kids are overweight or obese, which can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and premature death. 56% of adults and 32% of 5th, 7th, and 9th graders in Slow County are overweight or obese. Healthy Eating Active Living San Luis Obispo Coalition, or Heal Slow, wants to reverse that trend in Slow County. What can you do? Help us fight the epidemic by joining Heal Slow or visiting www.healslow.com for resources or more information. Together we can work towards a healthier and brighter future for ourselves, our loved ones, and our children. We're back with Living the Run. Here are your hosts, Ryan Ferran and Paul Tarek. And we are back. Don King here setting up the fight of the future. <laughs> You're the worst Don King ever. <laughs> the Olympian, only in America. Taking on the 125-pounder. I don't even know his name, but I got my money on him. Yeah. I can't Thanks. wait to set this Thanks. up. Now, do we want a jiu-jitsu guy or a, a, a straight wrestler, you know, to... Uh, does it? Do you think it matters? I think uh, by the smile on his face, I'm getting beat either <laughs> way. Matter, so you know, yeah. it's just how long do you want the beating to last? Yeah. You know. Oh, uh, Antonio <laughs> Benuelos in studio with us fights for the Pit Fight team. Also trains over at Athlon Elite. You can follow him on Twitter at Antonio Benuelos, and uh, he's got some good tweets. A lot of followers. Um, Wikipedia page as well. 
and he's going to find an opponent, a little scrawny guy, to knock out the Olympian, and I'm going to be there <laughs> ringside <laughs> cheering this guy on <laughs> big time. I can't wait. Okay, so quickly, if we have time, there's, there's some... Paul, are you nervous for this? <laughs> you said you would do it. I, what did, when did I say I wouldn't? I would, yeah, I, yeah I, I'm in. Time. What rules or stipulations would you like to Don't, set forth now? No breaking my arm. <laughs> breaking your arm. No breaking okay. my arm. Remember, you can tap at any time. Yeah. I mean, if you know you're going to break my arm, just tell me ahead of time you're going to break my arm. Hey, hey by the way, I'm going to hey, break gonna, your arm in a second. You're going to have to tap right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's good. That, there's the uh, no uh, knowledge factor okay, on my part. Right, yeah. Hey, and don't blink. I was at that fight up at Tehachapi when Glover knocked out a guy in four seconds. Yeah. He kicked to the head, on the ground, knocked out, ref called it. I mean, you do not do not blink, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this. But I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll just have it to where they don't throw punches, you know, so we can just show them how a little guy. A little jujitsu, yeah, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Hold them down, you know what I mean? I think that's what be pretty we're going for. I can't wait to see it. Antonio Benuelos, thanks so much for coming in and living the run with us. For more interviews, podcasts, blogs, and all that fun stuff, check out livingtherun.com. Until next Wednesday night, when we see you right back here on ESPN 1280, The Ticket. You've been listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. Living the Run has been brought